Hey guys, Joshua here and today I'm just going to be showing you how to just make your PC a bit faster if you're running a HDD by putting in an SSD. Just a little background, this PC is an Acer XC-710 and it's the kind of pre-built PC you get from an IT store like Challenger or Quartz, that kind of thing. And this is actually not mine but my friend's PC which is mostly used for his work stuff. Anyway, it's running pretty slow because it boots off a 2TB hard drive and it loads up programs pretty slowly so here's a quick and easy way just to boot it by SSD. The SSD I have here is Plexter's M8V SSD. This is a SATA SSD and it's Plexter's low cost entry into the market. They have an NVMe SSD if you want, but for the purpose of today's video, just so it's a bit cheaper, I'm using the M8V, so it's cheaper and to upgrade this work PC, it's perfect. Plexter also has quite a reputation for low failure rates and also this one has 512GB of storage and it's the largest that they have for this series. I'm actually not sure how many SATA ports there are in there but technically there should be two, one for a DVD and the HDD currently inside. So yeah, we'll take a look when we open it up. But if there's only one, I guess everything can run off this because it's 512 gigabytes. So yeah, that's why I actually got the 512 gigabyte version. So let's open this up and get to work. Okay, so I'm done with the cloning and everything. So what I did was I downloaded this software called Eases to Do and I'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out because it's free anyway. So all I did was just clone the system from the hard drive to the SSD and now it boots up within like 10 seconds or less. With the HDD, it was taking about two minutes or so around there and even games and everything boots up really fast. So also 10 seconds or less when previously it would take about literally two minutes. So that's just a very quick and easy way to just get a bit more out of your system with not needing to spend that much money. So if you don't choose to go for the max capacity of 512 gigs, they do have the smaller models in the 128 or 256 gigabytes kind of storage. So that will be a bit cheaper and definitely less than 100 USD or so. So you can definitely be able to upgrade your PC very easily. So that's it for this week's video. Like it if the information was helpful, subscribe for more tech content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.